Hey, what's up, guys? So this is day 17, which is today. This is going to be the last day, I believe, of secure coding, I hope. <laughs> that's what I'm hoping. But um, from the looks of it, that's what it that's what it seems. But if you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're returning, thank you so much. <clears throat> so what we're going to be doing in this, in this lecture, we're going to be putting some... Let's see if they have an introduction. Yeah, the, the introduction at this point, you're already aware of security concerns regarding the input validation. So, you know, uh, day six, 15 and 16, you know, that was, that was a tough days for me. Those were probably my toughest days uh, or toughest exercises for me because that's, that's how to do some research, how to do some learning and all that good stuff. Uh, more for 16 than more than, than 17. Cause 15 was pretty easy, right? You just create a payload, upload a payload, hop a reverse shell and just navigate around a Windows operating system. That's, that's pretty, pr pretty simple stuff. But, you know, maybe if it's all new to you, then obviously it's, it's, it's not simple. Like the SQL stuff, if it's simple for you, kudos, because that thing is not simple for me. All right, so enough jibber-jabbering or yapping. So pretty much we, let's cut to the chase. Let's go all the way down here. What we have here, we have the exercise here is we have to look into, um, if we CD into Reg X practices, so if we, if we do an LS, whoops, I don't know what just happened. Uh, hold up, what did I just do? Uh, I don't know what I just did. I don't know. I'm not sure what, why my screen froze, but hopefully it didn't freeze for you. So what, pretty much, pretty much what we have to do is to get to the exercise, we have to CD to um, desktop and reg, uh, reg X practice, right? So it's reg X. So in here we can use egrept. So we can do egrep, and then we can, for example, let's just do anything, right? Like, um, and I'll be pretty much, I don't know. And then we can do strings because that's the, so pretty much we can see everything in here that contains B, right? So there's obviously a lot more to this. It gets a little more complicated. And we can see here, let's go up a little bit. We can see different ways to do different things, right? Um, right here is all the tables, you know, asterisk. Um, these are what we're gonna be utilizing. And yep. Something like this, if you want to string at least with three letters followed by any three characters, our pattern would be, you know, the this. Obviously I have, I have done this, uh, this exercise already. So which was really cool because I learned a lot in here too, because I don't use these every single day. So again, kudos to try hack me. All right, so let's get to, let's get to business. So, Let's go down, let's just cut to the chase. Enough talking, filtering for usernames. How many usernames fit the syntax above? Okay, so what we have to do, let's just cut to the chase and get going. So let's take out the B, that's just pretty much what we're gonna use. So we can do the, oops, this, this sign, whatever this sign is. Of course, if you remember going back up, we could. Pretty much, I have them all here. I wrote it down just just for sake of the video, and I went through the pain already, so I don't have to have you guys to go through the pain as well. So Z zero, right? Dash nine. Like I said, I think I'm still sick. Um, whoops. Let's see. So six and twelve. And dollar sign. Okay, that didn't work. So let's see what I'm. All right, let's go back up. Let's see what what I missed. Uh, 
it all just happened. Not sure what's going on with my, I think my battery's dying on my mouse and every time I'm trying to scroll, it doesn't scroll. All right, so let's see here. Um, beginning, so you wanna start this with the beginning, anchor, anchor beginning and then characters so we can change every character yeah so let's see so it's eight right so less than it's pretty much like a little bit of math the plus operations means minimum maximum because i had it written down when i did <laughs> when i actually did the the room i wrote it down and i guess what i wrote down was not correct Let's give this a shot again. Let's hit the up arrow and see if I, oh, I see where I think I messed up. Okay. There we go. All right, so that's that's where I messed up. So let's try to zoom this in a little bit so we can zoom in one more time so we can see. All right, because I'm blind. All right, so how uh, filtering using usernames how many usernames fit the syntax above so one two three four five six seven eight and eight is right there perfect right so now with the question number two filtering for usernames pretty much this is for the usernames uh one of them consists of a readable word and what is it so pretty much user 35, that's the only readable word that I would think. If you can read all this other stuff, kudos to you. So it's user 35, okay? And then filtering by email now. Let's go ahead and filter by email. So how we can do that is, why does my mouse keep going crazy? It's really driving me nuts, okay? All right, so now we're gonna do by email, right? So let's go back up. We can do, oh, right here, that's domains. Uh, oh yeah, right here, emails. Emails is right here. So what we can do is hit the up arrow, up, hour, up arrow. All right, we can use, for example, we're gonna start it out with the anchor, right? So let's do that. And then we're gonna do dot plus, right? And then at sign, because you want to do email, you do at whatever, anything. So let's do that. And then say, for example, we want to do it dot com, dot net, whatever. We could do dot com, right? So let's see. This works. Okay, perfect. So let's go back down. Filter by emails. How many unique domains are there? So un unique domains, we have. Uh, alpha.com, try hack me, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, you see that? So the other one, Gmail, and we have m multiple Gmails, or we have multiple try hack me. So there's, there's eight. Okay. And then f filtering for emails, what is the domain of the email, which is, which the local part is? So, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. so right here, the second one, .amg, that's uh, Lewis Ham 44 okay? So filtering for the emails, what is the domain of each email starting with max, maximax? I'm guessing that's maximax, okay? So maximax is right here, so that's fedful.com, okay? And then filtering for emails, what is the local Hotmail? So Hotmail, we have right here, sane.volt at hotmail.com. Okay, so now we're going to do something for filtering URLs. So let's go to that. What happened? Okay, give me one second. I'm not sure why my, okay, there goes my mouse. Okay, so now we just have to go back up and check that out. So let's give that a go. 
Let's go back up. All right, so let's let's clear this out. And let's hit the up arrow, up arrow, up arrow, up arrow, up arrow, up arrow, okay? All right, so strings, let's go ahead and start with our favorite, the anchor. All right, so let's go back up. So let's, I think it's down here, I forget where, URLs, here we go. So to start, we could do HTTP or HTTPS, et cetera, et cetera, All right? So let's go ahead and do HTTP, All right? So we can either, we can do S as well. Let's just do that. And then we can do question mark dot and whoops, three. Okay, so now we can do www, dub, 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 dub. So, and then question mark, right? I believe this is dot plus, I wanna go verify this in a second. Data plus dollar sign. Oh, did I mess something up? Let's uh, let's do this again. Oh, I think I see where I messed up. Oh, there we go. All right, so let's let's go back up and uh, show you what we did. So we have HTTP S, right, or S. And then we can, let's go back up here. So obviously at the beginning, we can anchor with a string, right, HTTP, because that's what it showed us in the bottom, right? And we could do the question mark. This is an optional function. So this is exactly how I did it. And we have the dot, which is just a dot wildcard, any characters that we can plus, and then we can escape anything dot dot and then plus again we can plus uh qualifiers and then that matches the process token one one or more times and then pretty much i wrote this command down below and this is pretty much had my little cheat sheet open and ready to go and i did these these um these rooms before just for today, I did it before I started recording just because I wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing because this is a new area for me. So when I'm trying to describe it, I don't sound so foreign. Okay, cool. All right, so now we have that. So now where do we leave off? Okay, how many URLs uh, fit the um, syntax provided? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We have 16 there. How many URLs contain HTTPS? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven it is. And that is the last one for today, folks. So let's terminate that. And that's day 17. So we got it going, we're good to go. I thank you so much for viewing. Until next time, have an awesome day and happy holidays.